Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here doing a special 420 unboxing of the Star Wars Culture Fly Dark Side box. This is my first box from Culture Fly, and it is also only, I don't know why I'm putting my remote way over there, is only the second uh, Star Wars box that they've actually done. The very first one was The Mandalorian. I didn't do a video on that, but you can randomly find those videos. They're actually pretty cool. And because of what came in that box, they had some decent looking items. I was like, I want to pick this one up. And also it's Dark Side, so my, my hope of hopes is two characters. That's all I need. Obviously, classic Darth Vader. But my favorite character, like it, pretty much in all of Star Wars, like it, 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 you know, it's a balancing act. But Darth Maul. All I need is Vader and Maul as like really cool items, and not like one being a notebook and the other being like I don't know, a paper clip or something. <laughs> Just something like you know how it goes sometimes. I don't think I'll get that with this based on the other video I saw. I never looked up any other uh, culture fly stuff really. I saw like some of their supernatural things, which seemed good too. But these you know, something shaking. Um, but these seem like to like ooh, heavy. But these seem like they are the sort of big specialty boxes. They are. I totally forgot the price, but I want to say like forty five bucks or something in that realm. And as you can see, fairly big. When I first got it, I was like, oh crap, that's big. Like that's how wide it is. You know, like like these are these are decent. There's the depth. I don't know if that shouldn't damage anything. But also love the art for the front. I think that's really cool. It's very old school with like the super wild lightsaber, which I uh, super old Star Wars toys is like my <laughs> very old Vader. I have Luke and the land speeder, but I just want to have Vader up here. And then my very first lightsaber, which obviously is broken, but from the, uh, I'm about to say remaster days from the special edition days when they re-released like some of the lightsaber toys and stuff. So want to have my dark, yeah, obviously dark side, dark Vader, all the good, all the Star Wars stuff. So we're going to dive into this. I'm very excited for this because it seems happy enough. And I always like to just go in and not do spoilers. I assume that that is the, this is what's in the box thing. If it's not, then I'll figure that out as the last item. I should probably put it somewhere. Being high, I should put that somewhere where I'll probably remember to actually look at it. Um, oh, we got something like a little, pan oh, no, maybe that's the thing. I'm going to put that over there too. There's too many pamphlets. Too many pamphlets. I like to keep the mystery for myself and people watch it. First off, we have a shirt. Uh, you can probably see it there. Large. Okay, here we go. Ooh, this is a nice filling shirt. Ooh, like some Bella Canvas type stuff. It's like a, a good shirt, good shirt. And it's long sleeve. I love long sleeve. Um, so we have Beware, The Empire Strikes Back. At this theater, sooner than you think, may the force be with you. That's actually really cool. It's, um, I would imagine, it's like the actual poster, one, you know, one of the posters for when Star Wars was actually coming out. The Empire Strikes Back. Of course, The Empire Strikes Back makes sense that that would be the film that's represented in the dark side box because that was like the whole point. Like the first fight of the movie is like, yeah, the bad guys won. That's that's how it goes. That's pretty much the whole movie is the bad guys winning for The Empire Strikes Back. So that's super cool. Simple black shirt. Uh, got a little bit of red and white in there, obviously with Vader himself blending in you know, with the stars a bit. I like that. That's really cool. There's nothing insane. I was kind of hoping that we'd have, um, at least for the wearable item, that's what you always want to be like the coolest thing. I was hoping that it would be something a little different than just like, you know, a poster. I thought I was hoping it would be like a really, I'm, I'm sure it's a custom piece, but I would have liked for it to have been slightly more custom, like something just super different and unique. But I do still enjoy that and I think it's cool. And of course, it's long sleeve. With me being in Michigan, now's the time for long sleeve, so I'm okay with that. We also have something else, but I'll, I'll save that a bit. All these boxes are actually decent size. Like, I might have to take this thing out first. So here we go. We got some cover or something like that. Another blanket, which is super sick if it is what I think it is. Oh, it is not what I thought it was, but it's still super sick. So we have a villain action figure. Wow, all of this, I think, is going to be references to, like, actual old school Star Wars stuff. This, I, for some reason, I think is actually cooler than the poster. Uh, or, you know, the technically, like, the poster on the shirt. But this is um, filling out what figures you want it for villains. So it has a list of items. Number one, Boba Fett. What a surprise. Um, two, we have Jabba the Hutt. We have Grand Moff Tarkin, a Sand Trooper, Darth Vader, Star Destroyer, Stormtrooper, Emperor Palpatine, and Imperial Royal Guard. That is actually super funny and also super cool. Darth Vader should have been number one, but also it's Boba Fett. You know, he's he's going to be number one. This is also clearly based off of something that is actually old because, man, let me tell you, this junk is a little hard to read when it gets down there. And you can kind of see that, especially if I get extra close. Um, you can see with Jabba the Hutt right there. 
gets a little gets a little crazy there. But ultimately, it's still super cool. So I, I definitely enjoy this. Yeah, a little like a rock. Like a okay. It's weird. It's like a rock or something. I don't think it's an actual rock, but it, it was something that's definitely a little crusty and hard. <laughs> but I still think this is cool. So there we go. We got all the cool act villain action figures and stuff. Once again, clearly based off of something old because you genuinely it, it's like it's literally blurry. So that's one thing I would say. Hmm. Okay. Okay. It's kind of kind of mushed together there. Um. But all in all, I, I do still think it's kind of cool. It's not particularly thick. It seems like it's more of, um, what am I thinking? Kind of like a beach towel, but not really a towel. Just like a beach blanket, I guess would be the, yeah, it, it's a throw blanket, but that's kind of how it feels. Like it feels, e even for a throw blanket, it feels kind of thin, but I think more for the design, I actually like this. So I think it's still super cool. Just a little hard to read at the bottom there. So I would have liked that to have been slightly different. This. I feel like, oh, it's not, okay. We have a Star Wars Darth Vader planter, actually. And of course, if I think of anything plant-based, I think of Chia Pets. Chia, 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 Chia. Oh, I could have taken that out. Oh, it's a itty bitty little Vader. That's cool, I like this. This actually reminds me a lot of the old mug I had, which unfortunately is like in pieces thanks to my ex. Not, she didn't like do it on purpose, but it was you know, still her. <laughs> but it reminds me of like this really old Star Wars mug that they had of Darth Vader. And um, you can't really get it anymore. Like the one they have now, the thing is on the side, but the one that I had, it was literally like his whole face was here and the handle was actually in the back, which makes way more sense. I don't know why they would make the new ones on the side of his head. It's like, that's really weird. Like just put it at the back. But I, I don't know. It's weird. Like I've seen recent mugs and I'm like, I just don't like the handle placement. It's weird that it's on the side of his face and like just put it at the back. It's weird. But it was, it's a, it's a, it was a mug, so it's like a ceramic mug. So that's cool. I'm not going to put a plant in this. I'm not a planter person. Um, but this might be a little thing. It might go next to my BB-8, which is where I keep, like, all my pencils and stuff. Like, if I'm doing, like, which I never do. But if for whatever reason I decide to pick up a little art moment, I, you know, I got a little BB-8 mug that's a pencil. And I might do the same with this and put, you know, different stuff in it. So I do like it, though. It, it's definitely neat. It, it reminds me a lot of my old mug, which is cool. But, yeah. So there's that. If it'll... There we go. And it's decent. And it does have the shape, so it's not like a flat circle. It's just like a shaped mug or anything like that that's ceramic. The way it looks on the outside is the way it is on the inside. So that's kind of cool. I'll put that down over there and be careful with that for sure. Then we got something else in a box. And then I think there's another box. Ooh, okay, so we have a Darth Vader pint glass. Now this I'll probably get a lot of use out of. This and the shirt are probably going to end up being like the two most used items that we get. For me at least. And this is Star Wars Official Replica Darth Vader Helmet with Chest Plate. Authentic Breathing Apparatus Sound Effects. It says, now you can be... It's so hard to read this with red letters on black background. And they're small. Um, let's see. Now you can be the Lord of the Sith. With this official replica of Darth Vader's helmet, you can use the... The power of the dark side to defeat the Rebel Alliance. Okay. No joke, I think I have this thing. The thing is, it's obviously for a toy. This is, really weird. this is a really weird set where everything that is in here, outside of the planter, everything in here is like a different version of something that already came out. Like the shirt was technically like an Empire Strikes Back poster. This is literally, it's super weird, but it's literally just like a sticker of like, hey, this is an old toy that came out and... We, we kind of just put the sticker on the glass. Like, it, it's a sticker. It's legit. This is just a sticker. Okay, it's like pressed on there. But it's still, you know, it's a sticker. Which, you know, most things are, I guess, technically. When you put them on there, technically, most of the time they're just stickers. But, Pint Glass, Star Wars, Made in China, Vader. That one's okay. That, that one's just okay. It was cooler than I thought. Or, it's not as cool as I thought it was going to be. Mostly because it's just like, oh, it's literally like the cover of a toy box. And not like a particularly epic one either. We got something else. It's like a smaller thing. What's this? It's like a... Oh. That is super weird. And I don't know if I will ever use this at all. But it is a Star Wars Star Destroyer napkin holder. I don't even need to cut it out because that's actually all it is. Because on the front here, it looks like it just says Star Wars. So I don't really need to pop that one open just yet. And it's just a napkin holder. 
that's an interesting item to have. I like I actually like the design. Um, it says may the force be with you. There are words on here, and I don't know if that's supposed to be legible or what. Like no joke. <laughs> I I need to. It's hard to tell, but it feels like, once again, considering everything else, this feels like something that was shrunken down, because there's text right there. I cannot read that. Like, and it's not just from like, because I mean, as you saw, I just put the light on it. There's, I don't see how you can read that. Even with a magnifying glass, it's probably too blurred to, like, you'd probably be able to tell, I guess, if you did have a magnifying glass. But I'm pretty sure that's like, that's more than just legal stuff, where it's like copyright this and that. It would not be like, 10 lines long if it was just like copyright information so that's weird that one that's like the weirdest thing about it all where it's like it's cool to have these images and stuff but to have it like shrunken down like that when like you know it's text on it like this could have been the thing on the pint glass where it was like a star destroyer and then that could have just been like i mean it's a napkin holder either way i like the picture's not really gonna save it so i'd rather have this image um, on the mug and be like a full long thing or at least yo I mean this is obviously smaller text than that so I, I could read that at least I had to pause to make sure you know see what I was checking out but I could at least kind of read that so I would have preferred if that wasn't the actual image there just because it shrunk everything down so much and then we have the Star Wars LED desk lamp and this is actually not a Vader also as you can clearly tell everything is Vader so you know it's somewhat unfortunate I was hoping we'd have multiple like Sith Lords and whatnot. I assume this doesn't actually have batteries in it already. Sadly, it does not. And I believe those are a double A. But it is an LED um, desk lamp. And I think it just does the purple. So I'm not going to get up and do batteries and all that stuff. So I would recommend checking out another video for that. But it does like the little blue slash purple hue around it, which is kind of cool. And I think, yeah, that's pretty good. That's the front. There you go. And there's the back. Mine looks like it's kind of... Actually, mine is scratched up, but I think I just realized that's because it's got the little... It better uh, have the little plastic slip on it. Otherwise, my thing is all jacked up, but I'm fairly certain that this is just the little um, like cover thing. So when you take it off, you have like the actual thing underneath. And I will try to figure that out later, but it has to be because typically those get super scratched up, which you can see. like uh, like It was actually a quick reflection there, but you can see how scratched up it is. Um, and typically, that's the actual... Um, protective covering so the actual glass doesn't get scratched up itself i really hope that's the case i'm gonna be upset about that then we have oh this is cool star wars holiday special um oh it's a cork board i don't want to put anything on this um but we got a cool star wars cork board it's a holiday special because that's that's boba fett and his original appearance so that's kind of cool um interesting that they well, I mean, I guess it's a comic thing. Oh, it's not a straight line. That's just how it looks. Because I was trying to... I was going to say, like, it's weird that they got an image that's technically smaller than the cork board. Which is still weird. Because I would have preferred if they just shrunk it in and the whole thing was the actual image. It feels weird that it's, like, cut off right here. But they also have, like, the rock clearly at the bottom there goes outside of the, uh, the yellow line. So it's not technically like that. But they could have just expanded it all the way out. And I would have been okay with that. But interesting i don't really use cork boards um although i do have a million pens i used to do loot crate i have a quadrillion pens just sitting around maybe i actually have something now I, I might actually get some use out of this and i'll have a cool nerdy star wars background for all my nerdy pens and i believe oh we got one last thing oh okay speaking of pens we have a, dark, a button pen it says darth vader lives there we go that looks super classic to me. That definitely looks like some old school art. So I like that. That's cool. And then we have whatever these two flyers were. So one of these was something, one of these. Okay, yeah. So that's that. And then I think the other one like fell somewhere. Oh, here we go. But this is just like a, the culture fly book. So it's kind of just showing off. You know, there's Supernatural right there. I love me some Supernatural. And it's showing off all the other uh, books that you guys can get. They actually have a... <laughs> they have the uh, what, Miraculous Ladybug show on here. They have a crit for that. And Avatar The Last Airbender coming soon. I think they just announced that they were doing um, a Naruto Shippuden box, which was actually super cool. 
And then of course this shows everything we have. So the long sleeve tee, the pint glass, the throw blanket, LED desk lamp, napkin holder, Darth Vader planter, cork board, and the Darth Vader pen. So that is the box. Welcome. Or was it come to the yeah, come to the dark side. The Star Wars Culture Fly Dark Side Galaxy Box. I would definitely say that this was kinda meh for me. It was I was definitely amped based on like if you go back and watch the first one, I felt like the first one had it way more useful items. And most crates, you know, it's kind of what you expect, where you get random stuff like, you know, you get a napkin holder. And a lot of times, you know, there's tons of times I've gotten, you know, pint glasses and stuff like that. And there's been a couple of times, actually, where I have gotten um, the LED lamp and stuff, which I never mind. I never really use them, but I do kind of like LED lamps. I, I do think they're cool. If I, ever, if I really had space, I'd probably just put my LED lamps, like, all in a row and just kind of light up different ones at different times. I think I only have, like three or probably like three or four but typically they always come from uh crate based things i don't really buy them but i always get them and it's like they do look kind of cool they're definitely cool if you got the kind of a section where it just fits to have like a cool led lamp of like a certain character this i would say i think i like way more than any of the other ones i've had because most of the time it's just an outline etching because they'll do like five or six different colors and it's like oh you can have you know white lines and then a pink background or white lines and a blue background or a green one and i would prefer it's just like like even with this being off it's the Emperor kind of, you know, blasting lightning. I would much rather have this than, you know, like the classic etching where it's literally just, it's an etching and that's all you get. And then you just put a light under it. It's like, okay, at least this is like an actual picture that you can see from a distance. It doesn't have to have the light on. Otherwise, it's just like a see-through see sketch. It's like, that's a cool actual image of the Emperor kind of shooting lightning. And it looks cool. I, I think it's actually a decent drawing. I actually think that looks really cool, honestly. But... You know, if I want to light that up and put in, you know, have a uh, Star Wars display, that's that totally fits. I think that was that's probably the best LED light I've ever gotten because, like I said, they never come with actual pictures. They're always just you know the sketches. So I do appreciate that way more than other LED lights. I feel like I'll end up actually putting batteries in this one just because I'm like, okay, I actually kind of like the picture. I might actually use that one honestly. But you know, napkin holder, the pint glass, uh, the blanket, and then we got the shirt, which is cool, and the cork board. I felt like with these items, they weren't as cool as what I saw with the Mandalorian stuff. The Mandalorian one, um, instead of it being like a long sleeve shirt, it actually came with a jacket. I do not mind this. I actually love this. Uh, if I'm being totally honest, I was surprised that it was this. But this, I would say, is my favorite thing that was like something old being reused. And it's just like, you yeah, know, that's a cool nerdy thing. It's like I have, in a sense, I have like the poster for... Vampire Strikes Back, which oddly enough, I have for the first Star Wars because my friend, she bought me that, um, and it, I got a sweatshirt, and it's for the very first Star Wars, and it's in it's in French, but it's like just a poster that says like, you know, Star Wars on it, and it was like a French poster, excuse me, I still don't, I still question how, every video I mention, I'm like, how did she find that in Michigan, I don't know, but it's really cool, so I really like that, and so it's kind of cool to have that, I also have, um, the 40th anniversary, um, sweatshirt i forgot varsity jacket whatever disney likes to call them but i ended up getting that online so i do have that to kind of go with that to have the kind of old school classic vibe for empire strikes back so i really enjoy that like i said i love the image on here i think it's really cool to have the you know it's like the old school mark out for getting all the cool villain action toys i think that's a great idea for an item but like i said some of this text is like it's just clearly super blown up and it's probably worse, you know, considering you end up having to put it on the blanket. So, you, you know, you get these moments where it's like, okay, job of the Hutt, like that second T, like you can see that that says job of the hut, but like both the T's actually basically look like they just have a line going like straight through them. Like they were so small, they couldn't even actually like get the black print on there, which I think is more of just a misprint because it seems weird that it would it obviously print underneath, but it just seems weird. And then you have, you know, like the Sand Trooper, like, you can barely tell that that's a T and R separated. You know, like everything's, despite being blown up, it's just blurry. Like that's, that's kind of just how it is. So it's one of those weird things. Like, if you look at Vader, try not to knock everything out or over. Can't really, you know, it's like, I know I'm at an angle there, but that doesn't look like much of an R to me. That looks really tiny. And it doesn't look like a tiny R. So it's, it's one of those things where it's like, I like it. But it's weird that that's the issue that I'm getting out of this. And also, why did I have a weird rock on my thing? That was weird. Um, everything else you can read is just those couple, but it's definitely noticeable where it's like, that's just kind of weird that that's even an issue in general. But it is cool. 
the cork board. Like I said, that's just a minor thing where it's like, you know, it's one of those items where like, it's a cork board. But I might, like I said, I might actually get some use out of this because it's the first one I've ever gotten and I never considered it before. I, if I have a cork board, I can put all my pins on it. So this might actually get some use that I honestly never considered before. This, I'll open it at some point, but also I know that that's legible. Like everything, all of this stuff is something else shrunken down or expanded. Clearly that's what this is. So I'm honestly, this is the one that upsets me the most. And not just because for a napkin holder is a terrible idea, but the fact that it's like, like I said, it wouldn't be like 10 lines worth of stuff if it was just like legal rights and copy this and you know copyright that. That's something you're supposed to be able to read. And they shrunk it down and they're like, yeah, let's go with that. And like, that's just not good. Like that, like there's like, unless I'm wrong, I couldn't tell you because it's impossible for me to actually read this. I would have to get a magnifying glass. But, you know, I need a magnifying glass or, like, my macro lens to zoom in so far to see this from a centimeter away. And it's just, like, I don't like that. I don't really like that. Like, this image, like I said, definitely should have been here. And this image is actually not a bad image of Darth Vader himself. But it just feels like I would have preferred if this was literally just the image of Darth Vader. And maybe just said Star Wars and, like, this design or whatever. But it's literally just, like... Hey, let's take the picture off a toy and then just shrink it down and put that as damage for the glass. So I'm, I'm honestly, there's a lot for me personally. I feel kind of disappointed with this one compared to how excited I was based off of, you know, what I saw for the Mandalorian one. I was like, that seems really cool. Like they had a cool, um, I forgot we had the planter, but I was loudly enough. Um, the little Grogu thing, like it was magnetic, like the little ball was magnetic and you know, only the ball was magnetic so it could hold paper clips. So it was like the rest of it, you just put like, your little trinkets or whatever in. But I was like, that's cool. And it came with like um, sort of a nylon jacket and I believe it came with like a water bottle and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, you know, got a shirt. So that matches the nylon jacket. You got this, which it's not travel based, but you know, it's drinkable, but I don't think it looks as cool as the Mandalorian thing, which felt way more unique even though a lot of that stuff i felt just had the symbol or you know the sigil of the mudhorn i still like that because i was like okay that's at least newer and if it's going to be something older i would prefer it's not just like i said it's the image of a toy being shrunken down so unfortunately i am a bit disappointed with this i am surprisingly i think i might actually get use out of this so that does take it up a notch surprised by that one i do like the planter honestly i like having like just a tiny darth vader i just like darth vader a lot um, so you know, I kind of like having I mean, like this itty bitty Darth Vader deal going on. I do wish it was more expansive to the actual dark side. I mean, I know Darth Vader was on the front, but it's, I think it is pretty much called the dark side box. And so that's what made me think. I'm like, obviously you put Vader on the front of the dark side box because it's Darth Vader. That makes sense. I just, I still assumed it was going to be like the whole dark side and not just Darth Vader. And then, you know, one image of the emperor, um, you know, shooting lightning. I thought it was genuinely going to be hey, here is, you know, the dark side of the force. Like, even if they only went with movies, which what I I didn't think, I, I wasn't expecting to open this up and be like, oh, it's not Knights of the Old Republic and they have, like, you know, Darth Revan or anything. But I thought for sure they would at least have the movies. I was expecting, like, an item, a random thing where it was like, oh, here's a Count Dooku item that I'm not going to care about. But that's what I was expecting, if I'm being totally honest. And this really is, it's not just like, oh, it's like, oh, it's dark side stuff. Specifically, outside of it just being Darth Vader, this is also specifically old Dark Side stuff. It's like, it feels more like the box could have been named really like Empire Strikes Back or just like retro Vader stuff or anything like that. And I feel like that oddly would have fit more than like the broad spectrum of the Dark Side, you know, being the Dark Side box. You expect way more characters. Or you at the very least, do Palpatine, do Vader, do Maul, do Dooku. And you can even throw Grievous in because Grievous is cool even though he doesn't do much live action wise but we all remember that animated version and that was pretty sick so you could do those five and you could even do like dark side anakin if you want to like a transition thing a, li a little lithograph that would have been something um but i i felt like I, I was hoping for a lot more just because they called it dark side like if they just called it the darth vader box honestly i don't think i would have got it if it was just for darth vader which like if you know most of this stuff kind of feels like it is um had I known that it would mostly be Vader stuff, I don't think I would have got this. But because I thought, oh, okay, they did a lot of cool stuff for the Mandalorian, which that you would expect to specifically be like the main two characters, especially it being such a new series. But it's like, when you broadly say this is the dark side box, it's like, okay, well, that's cool. But, you know, I expect different characters from that, not really, you know, just Darth Vader. And especially not um, like old school, <laughs> you know, mostly old school stuff being shrunken down onto different things. And then kind of being put out. So I will say, despite the fact that I really enjoy the shirt, 
And I actually do like the LED, like I said. I'm, as long as this is thing, I'll probably have this in the text by the time I upload it so you can check the, like, the comment. I am really hoping that I'm right about this. Unless I have it backwards and you're just supposed to take this off. That wouldn't, hmm. I'll have to double check that, but I would imagine I don't need to take this off. That would be the actual sticker. Um, but either way, this should still not be that scratched up, even if this is the back and I'm supposed to take this off. Because technically it does work either way. It's just a reflection of the picture. So either way it could work. And maybe I'm wrong and I am supposed to take it off. Um, so that one's hard to tell. But either way, I don't think that uh, this should be nearly as scratched up as it is. And that's definitely just a sticker. So, like, just this part, you can feel like there's nothing up here to mess with. But it has to be a sticker because there's no way this thing is that scratched up. Because that would be insane. So, I'm assuming this is the protective thing and I just can't get my that right little peel off. But you can check the comments. By the time I upload this, I'm sure I will have figured it out. And I'll at least say if I haven't. Um, and so, who knows. But I, I do think that's decent because it's better than every other LED I've ever had. I'll get some decent use out of this. I actually do like the pin. Um, it, it's a different type. Of, it's not the one that would actually... I guess it could still work. You could just slide it in sideways. But I do like this. I like the classic you know, look of it. Darth Vader pin. Also, everything that has like this, that's how you know it's like fairly new. It's got the uh, the classic... You know, it's got the Disney logo for one. But all the all of the boxes have like that same image. They're all this with Vader doing that. Like That's how you know it's like, oh, this doesn't feel like... It doesn't feel particularly exclusive when it's kind of like that. It's like, oh, you feel like it's perfectly neatly wrapped all in the, in the different thingy and stuff. So uh, you know, it makes it feel a little less exclusive when they all have like that exact same marking and everything. But yeah, I, I would definitely say that unfortunately for this crate, I'm a bit disappointed. I was definitely looking forward to not only more characters, but in general, just what they ended up going with. I'm not as excited. I feel like the Mandalorian box actually did a good job. Um, and you know, like I said, that's what excited me for this crate. And also the fact that I thought it was the dark side box as they called it. And they just put Vader on the front. I guess now it makes a lot more sense why it's like the retro thing. Maybe I should have read that. And maybe that was in there somewhere. And I just didn't understand that. So that could be on me. Um, even if that's on me, just the quality of the items is still kind of like, mm, that could, it could be better. Even if I totally screwed that up and it specifies like it's dark side retro. I wouldn't say this is the way to go about dark side retro. Especially not this. This is the one that really gets me. And it's honestly, I'd still be like, it's dumb because it's a napkin holder. But I know you're supposed to be able to read that. And that's ridiculous to me. And it's just like, they, could, they couldn't just like, just put black. Just have it be an empty space or something. And it's just like, there's a bunch of empty space. Then it says Star Destroyer. I wouldn't really question it. There's empty space. You just Star Destroyer. And then they just want to have it look fancy next to the ship. That's fine. I don't know. But to have that clearly be a shrunken down thing and it's like there's text there but there's no way you can read that that's really disappointing to me that's like the big thing that gets me where it's like that was just a bad idea on like two fronts because it, it's still a napkin holder but on two fronts i'm like that's just a really bad idea and the image looks cool too that's the problem it's like that seems like it would be a really sweet image blown up because i actually like that design where it like i love the color scheme of like just the black and red, like, once again, it's kind of that old school thing. It's black, red, white. And I like the simple design of that. Everything looks, you know, it's kind of a minimalist, minimalist look. And that looks sweet. That's why I like, you know, the shirt and everything. But it's definitely, like, that would be way cooler blown up. That I would like to be able to read it. That would be nice. But it is what it is. Unfortunately, I feel like I, I honestly feel like I kind of wasted my money on this. And that really sucks because... I was really looking forward to this. And typically when that happens, it's like, ah, oh, man, you know, like you can find this and find that. For this one, it's mostly the shirt. It's mostly the shirt. Honestly, I, I think the planter might be my second favorite thing. And that's genuinely because I it makes me think of the mug so much. And that's tied to like genuinely like my childhood. I think my dad got me that mug when I was like five or something. So it's like really like it instantly is like, oh, dang, it's a smaller version. But it's like, boom, childhood. So I think that's that's definitely a nostalgia uh, button being pressed right there. Um, and then after that, it is the LED, which, unless it's scratched up, either way, I think it's probably number three. Even if I get use out of this, it won't be my number three item. But shirt, planter, LED. Um, well, I do like the blanket. Actually, I'd probably go shirt, blanket, planter, LED. And then after that, I would honestly, I'd probably go corkboard, glass, because I can use it. And then the pen would be last, because I'm just not going to use that pen. So. 
that's my order slash ranking or whatever for this. Um, honestly, I didn't expect this video to be so long, so thanks for, for watching it if you actually went all the way through with me. I didn't expect it to be this long, but I also didn't... I typically have more to say when I like don't like anything, and it's like, well, there's a lot more to critique there critique here than I was honestly expecting there to be, where it was like, oh, the choices they made. So I'm excited to actually look at other people's reviews, because like I said, the first box really got me. I was like, okay, the Mandalorian one... I wouldn't have mind having, you know, wouldn't have mind um, having bought that one. And this one, I'm like, now that I got this, no, nah, not really glad, not, not really glad that I did. Um, but I'll get use out of the items I get use out of. I'll definitely get use out of most of this stuff, if I'm being totally honest. Um, but yeah, I, I still wish I liked it a lot more. So that's my thoughts on this. I wish I liked it a lot more. Um. This might be my first and last <laughs> culture. I know. I think the last unboxing I did was the exact same. I think it was like a uh, anime band box or whatever that was, and it was the same thing where I got it and I was just like, "Yeah, this might be my first and last." I was if I like this, I was thinking I was definitely looking forward to that Naruto shipping and box because I love Naruto. But now I'm like, I don't think I want to spend the money on. It. I don't think I want to take that chance. Even though I might get something, you know, I might get a cool shirt or something, which you know, I can always use more cool nerdy anime shirts or nerdy shirts in general, but. You want the rest of the stuff to be really cool, too. Like, sometimes you want the shirt to not be the coolest item. Even if you wear it a bunch, sometimes it's cooler to have the coolest item be one of the random things. Because you'll wear the shirt no matter what, because shirts are 100% useful. I don't know when I'm randomly going to... I'm going to put, like, my Wendy's and Arby's napkins and start mixing them up. Like, that's what I'm going to do. So, I don't know. But that's how I'm feeling right now. It's very unfortunate. I was really looking forward to this. Like, I saved this as my last video for the day because I was, like, kind of hyped. Like, oh, this is going to be really cool. It's unfortunate, but luck of the draw. That's how it is. I would love to know your thoughts on this Culture Fly box and everything that they did. If you could switch some stuff around, that's something I always like to ask. Once again, if you're even here at this point, but if you could switch some of this stuff around as far as images and things like that, um, what would you kind of rotate? Like if you could make something else, the planter, um, I guess the only other thing you could technically do would be the make the emperor the planter because you can't you know otherwise you just be changing it so if you could change it i would love to know that as well if i could change even if all the items were the same i would totally change like most of this stuff like the pen well actually the pen i, I kind of like but i'm not gonna lie i would have changed most of it to dark maul that's honestly what i would have done i just all i needed was vader and maul those are like the two things like let those two items be cool uh, of Darth Maul glass would have been sick. Like if it was just like the outline, like it was um even if it was minimalist and it was like it didn't have his eyes and it was just like um the tattoo or something like that, that would have been cool. Like the tattoo and just red underneath. That would have been totally fine. I would have been perfectly fine with like just the design. Didn't wouldn't even need his actual eyes. Just like a minimalist design. I'd be like it's very simple and I probably would prefer if it had like his actual face on it or something. Um, but like you know drawn on. But even if it was perfectly minimalist, I'd be like. Yeah, that's pretty sick. I would like that. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to use this anyway, but if it was a cool Darth Maul image or something like that, any of this was Darth Maul, it would be cool. I would definitely change this only because of the issue with the blowing it up. And obviously, I would not make this a napkin holder, period. And at the very least, just a different picture. Don't don't show me. You shrunk down text so small, an ant, an ant needs to read it. That just keeps getting me. I keep thinking about it. I'm just like, who let that go through? Who let that go through? Like, you already had a napkin holder. You got to have, like, the most amazing image to make a napkin holder worth it. And you're like, what if we shrunk down this thing and just threw it on there? And you clearly know that you're supposed to be able to read that text. But they can't. It's like, that doesn't work. That's not good. Once again, unless I'm wrong. But I literally can't tell you if I am because I can't read it. But that seems like a lot of text, once again, for copyright. Those are my thoughts. We'd love to know what you thought about this box, so please put your comments down in the comment section below. Sorry this was incredibly long. I only, I always have long unboxing videos, but they get real long when I have a lot to complain about. And I, I, Maybe that's why they're always so long. I'm always complaining, because sometimes you, you get napkin holders. But we'd love to know what you think, so please put your comments down in the comment section below. And of course, thanks for watching.